Hello, and welcome back to another episode of my single player survival world. I'm the survival architect, and in today's episode, we're going to be working on the base. I have my 11 boxes of my stained glass here. We're going to jump straight into a time lapse to construct the fog effect that's going in the bottom of this hole. Um, quick preface I love this fog effect. It looks amazing. It makes everything look foggy and amazing down in the hole. So we're going to go and make that a, a reality now. All right, let's jump into it. It's been two hours or so. I have used these nine shulker boxes plus this much of a tenth. And I've got one full one left, and I've managed to put in four layers. This is, this is a lot more blocks than I thought. But it's looking a whole lot better now. Um, that fog effect really, really works. I, 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 I love this effect. Um, now, it does need about eight layers for it to, to actually function properly. 
but I don't have enough resources for that. I need to go out and get another 10 boxes or so, or so of black sand glass to finish this off. So, that's this little bit done. Okay, I'm actually recording this clip in post, which is why I'm on top of here instead of where I'm actually meant to be building, uh, because I don't want to spoil it quite yet. Um, down in that area there, I am planning on building, or I have built as of this recording, but in terms of the episode, planning on building a little animal farming area, area full of goats and llamas, uh, cows and pigs. So, and as well as that, horses and donkeys in a separate little stable. So, the plan is to build a wheat farm, a animal farm, and then a set of stables. Now, this is over the back of the shattered, the big part of the shattered savannah. There's our big hole that we just built. There's our starter area, and the village area is just over in there. So, let's get into first finding the animals, and then building up the structures that will house them. I found some llamas. Um, I'm going to get these guys in boats and then boat them all the way back to the area I have over there. Also, I need to find goats. I forgot to say that in the last bit. But I will get these llamas back and then be back out here looking for more animals. I found me some goats. Uh, I'm going to get these back to base, which is uh, like a thousand blocks away. So that's going to be fun. Um, but I've got me some goats. Now we need to find some pigs closer to the base because I'm not traveling not doing this again, and I need to find some horses and donkeys that are over on our main island because you can't actually get them into boats. Let's go find them. And here are the pigs. This isn't actually too far from the base. It's just over there. You can't see the beacon, but there's the sh Shattered Savannah. Let's get these guys back too. I've found some horses. I will get some of these guys back over to the base, and then the last thing we've got to get is some donkeys. And here's the last set of stuff, some donkeys. There's one here, and where'd the other one go? And the other one's over there. So, these are the last things we need to get back to the base, and I will be back in just a moment. Now that we've got all the animals here, they're all just sitting down there, or in little holes like that one, the horses and donkeys, um, we are going to build a small barn area and farming area back here. So I've got some resources together. Um, and I will jump to the time lapse now to get this set up. So that's another project done. Um, this is a really nice little area that I that I really love. Like it gives off a very homely vibe. Not only that, I know the building of this wasn't included in the time lapse. Uh, for some reason, the client I was using to record this bit 
was like, no, nope, I'm going to go into my pause menu. So, it, yeah, that, that got deleted. But this and this were both time-lapse as you saw. But honestly, I really like um, the, the, the interior is lacking, but the exterior of this place really looks nice. Um, I, I, where are my rockets? I really like the look of this area. It's, um, it's nice and spread out, not just a really solid area. I'm really liking it. I've also got the horse stables up in here. Uh, I haven't started breeding these guys together yet, but the first thing I'm going to do is start breeding the llamas together, that, which is why I've got all these carpets in my inventory, color coding them by their inventory slots. So this one has nine, this one has six, and that one also has six. And I'm going to try, just like B-Dubs has on Hermitcraft, to get a set of 15 slot llamas. And that'll take a little while, and I'm, I'm going to, to do that off camera. But that's the whole purpose of having the llamas here. I've also got the other the other animals. Hoping to get a screaming goat and breeding these up for food and more. And these guys for milk bubs. So that's this area done. I love it. So I'm going to start editing this video up and I'll be back in a moment. Now, for those who don't know, llamas have an inventory. So I've put chests on these two llamas. And these guys have nine. Now, a lot of people think that nine is actually the maximum. It's not. You've got another two rows over here. You can get 12 and up to 15 slots from a, from a llama's chest. So, turns out that there is a 1% chance when you breed uh, two nine llamas, which is what I've color-coded as orange. Um, if you breed two of those together, you have a 1% chance of getting a 12 slot. And then if you take 12 slots and breed them together, you have a 0.75% chance of getting a... 15 slot. Now, if you breed two 12s together, they end up uh, it's like a 40% chance of having a 12 and 60 of having a 9. And with the uh, and breeding 15s together, I think it's a similar for 15 and 12 respectively. So that essentially, I'm trying to get the biggest inventory space on these llamas possible because it it will come in handy. Um, but I'm going. To, oh, there's another one growing. I'm going to time lapse getting all these the, these llamas set up because I re only just realized I only have 10 minutes done in this video. And I will be back when I have some 12s. Alright, I've been breeding these guys for, what is it, three and a half hours? I ha or almost four hours. I, I had enough time to watch the entirety of the Women's Road Snackling race while I was at it. So, and I've only managed to get one 12 or this is this is taking some time, um, but if you, if you listen out, then you might hear the screaming goat somewhere. Scream. That wasn't a scream. But I've also been breeding up the cows. I haven't started with the pigs yet, but I probably should. Um, but all in all, it's going pretty well. I did have a creeper blow up that wall and here, so it's, it's been a bit eventful, but we're going to keep breeding these guys, see if, see if we can't get another... Uh, another 12 or two 15s. But that's actually all the recording time I've got for this episode. I, I haven't really had that much time to record uh, in the past four days. So thank you all very much for watching. I have been the Survival Architect. If you like the video, please like it. And if you're feeling generous, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.